What's up YouTube, James Afera here. Welcome back to another episode of the NO1800 Let's Play series where we're trying to reach 200,000 population. So in the last episode, you saw me go to the Arctic and do a few things there. I have done a few more things off screen in regards to the Arctic, but I'll show you that soon. But I wanted to point out that level one AI do not give, they don't, they just don't care at all that you can take over. And I bought the last chair and Bento was actually happy that I could take it over. So I'm just going to take over this island because <clears throat> because I, I want this island and I accidentally let her take it. So it's going to be mine now. She cannot settle it. So I'm going to uh, take it myself. I'm going to take my ship down here and claim all that extra stuff. So I'm going to make this uh, I'm going to make this island. So yeah, I got actually plus one for grabbing another island. Um, but this island will probably be something that provides i mean it's got a lot of zinc it's got got a lot of iron so it'll probably provide just materials for things and then uh this one i'm gonna claim as well thank you for the vote of confidence thank you for the vote of confidence it's like it's like she's happy about it but the level three ai they just get so pissed off they can't stand you after that but um the population has gone up to sixty-eight thousand. we have had some issues here and there with uh with coffee uh, cigars and steam carriages aren't happening very good very quickly, but uh, yeah, the coffee is constantly a huge issue, but we can ramp up that production no problem. Spectacles have been a problem as well, uh, but I added a few more. I added a few more spectacle factories down here, so that shouldn't be a problem. I do have Frasal Cerami also affecting that, but also someone mentioned in the comments it's anything that emits black smoke is considered a heavy industry. So I moved a few of the bronze furnaces up here just to experiment with kind of what's going on with the palace and the bonuses that it provides. And the Skilled Labor Act is providing one extra good, one extra brass out of every three cycles. So I'm getting extra brass pretty much constantly and it's going up like crazy. So that's going to be really helpful because the Arctic is actually requiring a lot of brass on its own. So... If we go to the Arctic, I'll show you what I've done. I have upgraded to technicians, just six of them. Uh, just because I wanted to get a little bit further, I have to build the airship foundations so we can work towards that and then I can show you uh, what it takes to actually build the airship foundations and uh, I think I can get away with putting them... Uh, I'll just put them in the corner like I always do, I guess. Yeah, I'll put it like uh, right here and I'll put a road all the way around it. Put a warehouse right next to it and then uh, it should be good. I do have a lot of timber and like quite a few steel beams as well up here, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. I do keep bringing um, construction materials here, which are going to be super helpful. There, I connected it to the rest of the land. And so what does it need? It needs um, it needs cement and timber and requires heat. The lock precondition is technicians though, so we'll, we'll do that soon, but uh, we'll get some heat up here. The heater can go there. So now it has heat and then we need timber, which it will start. And then uh, we need cement as well. So let's go ahead and get a, sorry about that. I wanted to fix the music, um, but let's go ahead and get like a ship, like a spare clipper or something. Oh, this is Cape Trelawney, whoops. Let's actually grab these items real quick. Oh, she has a lot of windows here. And let's drop all that off. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. The AI always has a lot of stuff that they have just sitting around. Which amazes me sometimes. It's it's anything extra they had in storage, I guess. That the that the trading post couldn't hold. Because um, it deletes all their storage buildings. But anyways, um, Jorgen's Haven. I'll, I'll probably re-nickname that soon. But anyways, let's go back to uh, the old world and see if we can buy anything from Archie. Yeah, we can. As a boy, I was... So let's buy some stuff from him. And I'll show you what I did too with the trade routes. I organized them all into into kind of uh, groups. Let's grab all these. Grab all those. Let's get some uh, cement as well. We'll grab it here. I should have plenty of it. Yeah, I do have plenty. So we're gonna go grab that, and then also uh, I think I, I think I showed you what I did up here. Yeah, I, I made basically a coal farming spot for the for the Arctic. It's solely dedicated to the Arctic, so we shouldn't have any problems like as far as uh, as far as coal goes, as far as needing it up there. 
Um, so what I want to do is also dedicate, probably since I'm still having coffee issues, I want to dedicate another trade ship to the coffee. Um, let's buy this one. So this one's named the uh, named the Magnificent. And someone said like six cargo ships on the coffee, and I, I totally believe that. <laughs> Um, that's going to New York. This is going to this one's going to London. So we'll add another one here. That one's gonna be the magnificent Yes, the magnificent And that one's also gonna grab 300 tons of coffee So I might have to revamp uh, production up there just, or down in the new world just to make sure like everything's going okay um, Let's actually check on that because it's in Java So I probably have a ship like picking up chocolate or uh, coffee right now, but We'll see how that's going. Um, so currently coffee is at, I upped the storage by a lot too. I built a whole ton of depots. Um, so I'm actually capped out again. So hopefully, um, yeah, maybe I should add even another cargo ship on there. Yeah, let's go to the old world and do that. Just to be all set. Actually, let's produce, let's make one. Oh yeah, we wanted to grab cement too for the, uh, for the Arctic. So we'll grab 50 of it there, 50 of that. We got more steel beams, um, maybe. We might need motors too. Yeah, we'll just send this all up there to the Arctic. King William Island, there we go. And uh, the Arctic is sustaining itself like pretty good as far as like some of the needs go, because I'm just buying everything from the, from the uh, I was gonna say Kaluak because that's a that's a race of uh, walrus people and wow, but um, I was just gonna say, they're, they're like Inuit people basically up there. Um, so I have to bring forty tons of steam motors. I want to produce steam motors. I like really want to focus on it somewhere. I think maybe Cape Trelawney would be a really really good spot to do that in. Um, I want to revamp to a few things here. Uh, investors, let's see here. Yeah, so steam motors, I'm making plenty of bronze. And the furnaces, I should have plenty of those too. Oh yeah, I have tons of stuff ready here. So what I could do, you know, what I want to do actually is make a trade route and dedicate, or a trade union, and dedicate that solely to, uh, to these, um, these steam motors. Because steam motors are, are really, really, really important. And... I just want to make sure that I'm making enough of them. Well, not only for the carriages, but also to uh, to make lots of tractor barns. So let's keep this right. Okay, we'll keep it right there. I think that'll be good for what I want to do here. It's going to cost a lot of money, but uh, last time I checked, I'm making a lot of money. So that's that's not a big deal at all. So let's put this right here. This is all going to be electrified. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's go upgrade that trade union. Let's see if we have, okay, we do have an extra for us. Good. Um, I wanna find another, another, um, another item that affects the, the motor assembly line, if I can. I'm not sure if that actually exists, but uh, I wanna try it. So there's two extra ones there, or two of them there. So hopefully that's like, Hopefully that's enough to uh, to make a good amount. But that's gonna be sped up by Faras, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll upgrade that one. So the production of these now will be, with the help of Faras, the production of these steam motors will be, oh, I can't actually see it. I think it's considered an intermediate product. So yeah, it's, it's making five tons a minute, so that's really good. Um, let's go ahead and check out this island too. Benta wants us to buy her islands from her, so we'll do that. I mean, I have 72 million sitting in the bank, so Money isn't isn't an issue. Um, I wish that was the case in real life, to be honest with you. <laughs> 72 million in the bank, that'd be great. Um, but anyways, let's upgrade all these to be engineer or uh, to be investors. And luckily that's not a problem at all. Okay, so I think So what are we having problems with now? We're having problems with worker clothes. Um, which is not that big of a deal. I want to actually maybe get rid of these here on London and make them in Seattle instead. I'm, I kind of like, Seattle's making its own steel beams and they're also making their own windows. 
um, and bricks and everything. I, I revamped the whole industri industrial area on Seattle. I made it into like a little port over here on Seattle just to um, just to kind of cram it all together. And then here, what I did was I moved all the industry away, but I want to make like a revamped kind of um, uh, like a worker clothes area. So to do that, what I wanted to do is, oh, also Seattle has its own power because it, uh, the small oil harbor, it has its own oil, right? So what I want to do is also make a few things on Seattle. So maybe I can lessen the burden on other places. So what I'm going to do is get reinforced concrete from London. And then maybe I want to see too. So London has a lot of uh, a lot of cement, a lot of limestone. I don't know what other islands do. Okay, Hapilet here of uh, Bentas has has that as well. So we'll we'll get some stuff from from London, bring it down there and then give give Seattle its own power. And that way Seattle can use some tractor barns maybe to get its own grain going and then we'll use the grain to maybe uh, power boost all the uh, all the all the worker clothes here and just have them dedicated to London because I think that the farms actually do decrease attractiveness a bit. So if we can remove those from London little by little, that'd be nice. Um, let's see. Surrounding buildings, low fire chance. I don't think this actually produces any, any like completely negative. Uh, I don't think this produces any negative attractiveness. I'm not sure though. Let's check it. Uh, vulgarity. Okay, so vulgarity does not. Pollution is from this stuff. Instability, no. Festivity is good. Nature and culture is okay. So actually, these don't per these don't give. Uh... I'm just gonna upgrade these. These don't give any negative attractiveness at all. So actually, what I can do is just uh, instead of making more of these on London, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste them here in Seattle, and uh, bring bring all this stuff from Seattle. So I'll go ahead and put this one here. And this one can go right, right there, I think, would be good. There we go. Let's upgrade all that. All right, now I'm producing just a ton of these sheepies. Oops. I could, I could have made these more efficient, but uh, I didn't want to do that, I guess. So um, let's go to my trade routes. So I organized all these into groups. So like the, this one will be the CT internal. CT stands for Cape Trelawney. Epidemic. And internal is just like trade routes that are within the instance itself. So this will be the Seattle to London trade route. And so what I can do here is um, load in Seattle. I'll load like these. One, two, three, four, five. Ship, so I'll load these, the unload floor. there, and then boom. So I can just keep on trading those over to uh, Trelawney and it'll be good to go from there. Um, so once once that starts happening, I won't really need to uh, I won't need to have these anymore. So I think what I want to do is delete this because I don't want double the work clothes production. And then I'll see how that goes by deleting those because um, I just I just put two in. So um, that should be okay. And then Seattle I think will play a bigger role in the future, but. Uh, that has yet to be seen. It might be like my more of like my industrial area, probably. I think that might be the case in the future. So we'll see about that. Um, let's go ahead and grab. I was wanting windows. Oh, I already have windows there in Seattle. Let's um. Oops. Let's grab the uh, reinforced concrete, and then what do I need here for the um. For the oil harbor. I need reinforced concrete, and then what are these, or what do these cost upgrade? Um, the oil wells cost steel beams and bricks. So we can do that right now. Um, but then I also need steel beams now. Okay, okay. So let's grab this, let's grab more steel beams. I mean, Seattle's producing its own steel beams too, but, but yeah, at the same time, it's just like, it seems like they run out pretty fast. But uh, let's go ahead and grab some more reinforced concrete, and uh, we'll bring it down to Seattle. Seattle, I, like, maybe it's not playing as big of a part as it should. But uh, for now, it's going to have its own oil power and it's going to just, it's going to maybe produce some more things for industry. But I do know, like, if I electrify this whole industry here, 
that my steel beam production will shoot up by quite a lot. So I can use this as like my sole like steel beam producer, um, which would be which will, which will might work out pretty well. Um, but also, I'm probably gonna make this island down here into like a uh, like a bronze producer or something like that. I'm gonna produce something expensive here, like sewing machines, and then trade for something else for, through like docklands. I think that'd be super valuable to do. Um, but here's my uh, here's the tartan here. But yeah, as far as this goes, the steel beams. Um, I can produce beer here actually as well. But I already have like quite a big beer production on um, on London, and it's not. It's like I just wanted to move like the blacker, like the black industry away, like the heavy industry, um, the black smoke industry, I should say. And if I do that, so someone said that I can actually place like a um, oh, like a like a palace wing or something like that on an island. And if I do that, I can actually like in state a palace policy here. So maybe, is it this? Palace administration, oh, local department, okay. So local department um, can go here and I can issue the heavy industry, um, like a heavy industry admission or whatever. Ooh, that's really cool, okay, okay. So I'll wait till I'm sure, okay, I have, okay, I have that. This is completely this is completely done. Okay, good. Awesome. So I want to put like a like a dirt road kind of up here. And then I want to put a fire station here because these do catch on fire sometimes. I want to make sure that that's covered. Okay. So now we have oil here in Seattle, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to update this local department and then I'm going to put the the brick road, like kind of surrounding it. And then down here. Souvenir seller, okay, I'm getting a lot of these stupid items in New York. Um, let's go ahead and put the Department of Labor. 10% um, productivity for, um, let's see here. So I can only do Department of, of Labor there. I can't do the extra. Um, Department of Labor, okay. Oh, and then policy, okay. Extra goods from heavier factories, so extra steel beams. Okay, so this would be really, really nice, actually. This will be extremely handy. Extra goods on farms, ooh. Wow, this is such good stuff. 50% productivity from electricity. Man, that's really good, too. I just have to unlock more attractiveness. If I unlock more attractiveness here at uh, London, then that can really, really happen. Um, so the pollution here is only minus 100. That's really not that bad. Um, let's see. Instability is fine. What about vulgarity? That's fine. So culture is actually really, really high. That's like the biggest, like, countryside. Okay, so countryside's adding 617. Um, so what I could do as well, so, so, um, the queen wants me to add a museum or a, sorry, not a museum, but a zoo. Um, we can definitely do that. The zoo is, is it the art, artisan thing? It's gotta be, oh yeah, yeah, it is, okay. So that's pretty cool. So I can add like a zoo maybe over here, you know? Maybe add it like here. And then let's put some animals in, or an empty compound. One, Two, okay, if I so if I scooch it over one more, one more little space. So scooch it over one more space. We'll put an animal enclosure here, 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 and then I wonder like if I can uh, pathway ornaments. Okay, so mosaic painting. Okay, so the cost is I have to have some of these items. So I wonder if I can do this, and then put more modules. Like right here, maybe? And then put like a musical, uh, music pavilion, like right here. Oh, the music pavilion, wait, why can't I, uh... Why can't I upgrade it? Oh, I think it has to be, does it have to be connected to the museum, maybe? Um, let's see, let's do it like right here. 
Yeah, it does. It has to be connected exactly. Okay. And we'll put like the uh, like some of the roads like right here on the right. Oh, and these people have a uh, sheet music and oh, okay, cool. We'll grab it. All right, so we'll add the sheet music in here. We'll add a 50 attractiveness. Then we'll put, um... Oh, so I can't actually upgrade. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I, ha I can't have these. I wish I could connect them when they're like paved. You know what I mean? Like the paved areas. I wish I could do that, but obviously I can't. So, um, let's make a few more animal enclosures. We'll just put them like right here. We'll upgrade these like that, like that. So people, I guess they walk between these spots here. Okay, yeah, they do, they do. I thought they would walk maybe more between the pavement areas, but I guess not. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll pave it like this, kind of up to the music pavilion. And then I'll be on the lookout for animals. Like maybe try to complete some animal sets, you know? Um, oh, I have a tiger. That's pretty cool. Um, so I got a one tiger in there. I do I do like having the museum and botanical garden and all that stuff. Build a public morning or a tourist morning. Let's build a public morning. Um, the public morning will be where exactly? I already have a commuter pier. Um, where is... Okay, I don't see any of that right here. How about artisans? Let's build a oh, public mooring right here. Okay. We can put that uh, maybe right here by the uh by the harbor master's office i think that'd be good because we could we could increase our visits i think that would be awesome there we can extend the road there and then um how about the uh, okay so we don't have in the harbor master's office we don't or actually as far as the items goes we we do not have the um the item that enhances tourism or enhances uh public visits or whatever so as far as that goes, um, I'll get that item later and go ahead and put that in. So we're gonna look for animals, definitely. I'll do that I'll do that on off screen time, I think. I think that'll work really well. And then I can probably, if I get lots of animals, I can just load them all up right in a line here. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, so I'm an enticing metropolis now in London and we got the animal sheet music playing. So that's gonna be really exciting. And then we're gonna unload the goods here. Oh, we already did actually. Oh yeah, because I already, I already built the oil here. So I can get this powered up here, which would be nice. So that's the extra iron. That's the extra steel beams, okay. That's really good. Um, we should be producing a lot of extra um, steam motors here, and we are, good. So that's, uh, let's see, let's get the reinforced concrete out of here. So let's check on these. So we can actually make cabs. Oh yeah, we can make cabs now. Um, we have a nice stockpile there, so that's, that's really exciting. So the motor assembly line, okay, and the cab, the cab assembly line, actually, um, I want that to have its own trade, its own uh, trade union as well. Um, and I wonder how far this electricity will actually reach. I wanna say it'll reach all the way up here. Oh yeah, it will, no problem. No problem at all. So um, let's go ahead and make a road kind of like this. Then go to investors. We'll we'll go and make a trade union actually first. So we'll put it like right there. And then let's see if we have the cab lady. Uh, instead of steam motors, the building processes filaments. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And is there anything else we can put in there too? Brick factories, concrete factory, jewelers, bakery, soap factory. Uh, nope. Okay. Okay. So we can go ahead and put down um, a steam carriage production line here. Let's see if we can put it here actually. Oh, act, no. Do you call it altruism? I think I can put it right here, yeah. I'll put two down. Three and four. So I'll put four there. there I mean, these buildings are freaking huge, so. Um, it's any wonder I can only fit four of these in the radius. So I'll put the roads there, 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 and I'll put the uh, put the warehouse right here. So that way we have cab production now going in London. That's exciting. Let's put this guy here. We'll upgrade that too. So we have that, and I want to get a Faresel Cerami in here as well. We, we do need another one. 
So let's get that cab assembly line going, and it takes filaments and uh, and those things. And those things are wheeled carriages or whatever. They're called uh, coach makers. So we'll get a coach makers in there. And uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll get a coach makers probably here. I'm assuming that would probably be a good idea so that we can, um, let's see, these produce, oh, they take two minutes. These take 30 seconds. So I need a lot of these darn things. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That's un extremely unfortunate that I need so many. But, um, oh, and I can't even, uh, okay. So these two we'll have to, we'll have to do here. We'll have to do there, and then uh, let's see if we can go to the old world and grab a few items from uh, from maybe Eli. And is there... Ah, there's one. I do have an extra one, so that's good. So let's let's maybe see if I can get maybe for SL Cerami or... Um, or some other pro like production boosting items for the cab, for the cab, uh, cab factories. Let's see, clockmakers. Um, I don't need clockmakers because there's for us. Good, good. I don't need clockmakers because I'm making all that extra from Dario, the mechanical engineer. So that is not a worry, like at all. This University jewelers, no fur dealer, all mines and quarries, all fire stations, bicycle factory productivity. Interesting. Okay, so as soon as this, uh, as soon as the thing gets up here, I'm gonna buy for us. And then when I buy for us, I'm going to maybe buy a couple more of them, or just look for some better items in general for just for London. Um, I wish I could buy him here, and he actually might reset in the time it takes the uh, ship to get here. We'll find out the last second, I guess. There we go. Got that one. All right, we'll spend the last couple minutes of the episode, I guess, gambling and taking care of some stuff here. Um, the oil power plant, interesting. It produces an extra good. I guess we'll take that. Um, artisanal kitchen, fisheries, no thank you. Cannery, no thank you. Um, another frass, awesome. Bonus income for engineers, absolutely. Absolutely. All old residences, fisheries, pearl farms, extra tallow. Let's see. Nope. Dario, um, I don't think we need another one of him quite yet. Award winning brewer. Uh, workforce needed. That's actually pretty nice. But ended. I'm not going to take it. Hacienda, the rum distillery is interesting. Police stations, carpentry works. Okay. Let's see. Affects all residences. Bonus happiness. I'm looking for some really like maybe some legendaries. I think some better items open up too once you go to the uh, go to Africa or the sorry the land of lions, and open that area up. Once you go there, uh, I think some some new items do come into the picture. So I will probably end up doing that pretty soon. Um, but as far as like getting the population up goes, I don't think it's completely necessary to go to the uh, to complete the campaign in all the places and all the new, um, all the campaigns and the new instances. I don't think it's entirely worth it. So we probably won't be doing that. Um, effects Steelworks, Master of Forges. We already have that one. Grain Farm, Proactivity. That one could be nice, I guess. Gordon the Master Grocer. No, thank you. Let's see. Elliot Blitz, the security engineer. Don't need that. Bonus supply. Residences with the pub need are sausages. Ooh, that's actually really nice. I can bring that to Seattle. I can bring that to Seattle and really, uh, really keep that going. So I can provide those people with needs that I don't even like. I can give them sausages without actually producing it, which is really nice. Mr. Garrick, uh, bonus income. Oh, absolutely. Mr. Garrick. Absolutely. Um, did I grab? A bonus income already? Bonus supply? No, I didn't actually. I thought I did for some reason. Maybe it was like a lesser one. Oh, and I also need the, um, let's see, the presence is, uh, penny farthings. Oh, 
undisputed master of that. Residents provide bonus income from variety theater, beer, rum, penny farthings. Oh, okay. That's interesting, but I want to find the tourism one. So if I find that one, I can increase the visits and it'll look better for me. All older residences. That provides the needs of variety theater. That's interesting. Mr. Garrick, no thank you. Cab assembly line, don't need that at the moment. Steelworks, clockmakers. Oh, and I do need to up, up, update my filament production too. And um, I won't take that. I need to update my filament production on London too because those uh, those steam factories, those um, the steam motor factories are going to uh, really affect that. They're going to they're going to greatly increase the demand for it. So I should probably fix that as well. Increase visits, maintenance cost. Ooh, perfect. That's what I wanted. So let's take this one. Um, let's take this guy over to uh, London. We'll drop those items off. And then we'll take a look back here. Um, so these are, oh yeah, they're missing filaments because I'm not producing enough of them apparently. And I'll show you guys what's going on with the, um, here's light bulbs, there we go. Um, I'll show you guys what's going on as well with the uh, with the Docklands, because I have upgraded a few things there. So we'll put an extra one maybe like here. Actually, I wonder if filaments are considered heavy industry or not. I'll just put more filament factories right here. And hopefully, hopefully it doesn't destroy my coal. But I could use a lot more, you know. There we go. And I should probably upgrade this, uh, there we go, that Grand Warehouse. The Grand Warehouse gets two extra slots, I believe. Um, so Captain Tobias is trading, I think, currently here. Yes, he is currently here already. But if we look at the coal, I think, oh yeah, I'm bringing in a lot of coal. Oh, and my Penny Farthings actually reached uh, Legendary Export level, which is awesome. So I can probably take this down to 50. Um, actually, I want, I want 2,000 just to always be ready. And this one, I think the rest of this is fine. I'm bringing in the chocolate, I'm bringing in the malts. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually I don't need to do this anymore. Um, I'm gonna change this to penny farthings as well. Actually, sewing machines. Um, I can change this one to, let's see, what do I need to get here? What do I need? I don't need all that malt yet, or anymore, I should say. Um, spectacles would actually be good. I'll bring in some fur coats. How about that? We'll change this to penny farthings, because I have so many of them. And then I'll do, like, uh, how many more do I need to bring in? I think 100 or something like that, but uh, I'll just do 100 there. I'll do um, 900 malt there. Give my uh, Give my schnapps a break here. We'll go to the um, the sewing machines, but I think maybe I can't. Can I trade that? Oh yeah, I can actually. Change that to two fifty, and then I think I should be good now. I don't need to. I need, don't need to do all this. Uh, all this. I don't need to trade all this schnapps. There we go. Um, let's just do two hundred of this. I think that'll be good. See that schnapps is trading there. I'm getting a. I'm getting a lot of this. Let's see, let's see, let's do 100 here. Actually, let's get 300 of this. Um, let's see, penny farthings could probably do here. Let's put the penny farthings there then. Um, where I always like get confused on this. So actually let's do like 25 of these penny farthings. They're legendary, so 25 gets me 1300 pieces of wood. So that's awesome. Um, the rest of it's all good. Good to go. So we'll leave that there. As you can see, my Docklands is really going. So once I get the fur coats, um, I need to bring in 220 more, actually. So I could... Oh, I'm bringing in 259, so that'll upgrade. I can start bringing in Spectacles. And once I bring in Cement, actually, I can bring in the rest of that stuff. Once I bring in Cigar, or once I bring in a Coffee, I can start buying Cigars. So that would be nice, actually. So I'm bringing in uh, champagne now as well. So interesting stuff with the Docklands. It's definitely very, very overpowered and kind of broken. 
but the devs put it there, so I'm happy to use it. So anyways, guys, so thanks for uh, thanks for watching the episode. I hope you guys didn't mind of me me chatting away. Um, but there's a lot of, lot more work to do. I mean, I'm up to seventy thousand now, and that's just from that's just from satisfying some needs here. Um, I, once I get light bulb, more light bulbs, and more cigars going, um, I've already got the cabs. We can actually make another one here. Once I've got all, I mean, I've got all these cabs going. Um, I've got more of these. Once I get more light bulbs, I mean, it's it's looking really, really good. You know, I don't even need to. Um, I don't even need to like really build all these steam motors either. Like I'm making so many. But anyways, um, with that, I will catch you on the next episode, and I'll and have a good day. Thank you.